We should have realized, we should have realized. In my book, what I want people to realize is that science is empowering us because you can buy these metabolism activating, fight fatting foods right in our grocery stores. At the grocery store. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this video, we'll learn from Dr. William Lee, a leading expert in stem cell research. He will guide us through the impact of various foods on stem cell health. We'll take a close look at the nutritional science of watermelon and its effects on our body's regenerative processes. Dr. Lee's research emphasizes how our diet can significantly influence our body's ability to heal and regenerate with a particular focus on the role of stem cells. He'll delve into the benefits of one of nature's most refreshing and nutritious fruits watermelon. Keep an eye out for a special bonus section of stem cell assisting recipes featuring watermelons as a main ingredient. Watermelon is composed of over 90% water, which helps in hydration. Proper hydration is essential for maintaining cellular functions, including those of stem cells. By supporting overall hydration, watermelon can indirectly benefit the health of stem cells and other cells in the body. However, watermelon is much more than just a summer treat that has a vibrant flavor and is great for hydration. The compounds in watermelon have anti-inflammatory effects, which can be beneficial for stem cell function. Chronic inflammation is known to negatively impact stem cells and their regenerative capabilities, so reducing inflammation can help maintain stem cell health and function. Additionally, watermelon is rich in several nutrients that are beneficial for overall health, including vitamins A, C, and B6. Additionally, and what Dr. Lee will be discussing here, is the antioxidant lycopene, which can be found in watermelons. In this video, we'll examine the science behind watermelons lycopene and its effects on stem cells are our body's remarkable building blocks for regeneration and repair. Stay tuned as Dr. Lee shares his insights into how incorporating watermelon into our diet might support overall cellular health and contribute to well-being. But first, let's call Dr. Lee to give some background about how body fats develop, the role of stem cells and fat accumulation, and how deadly these fats can be. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. I'm calling Dr. Lee. Now, when your body fat actually is filled up, so let's say you're eating and overeating, that's actually one of the most common causes of fat accumulating in your liver. You're eating too many calories. Those calories are going into your uh, uh, stomach. They're being absorbed in your bloodstream. And now you got to store them. You store them in the body fat. Remember I told you, single fat cell can swell three times its size, and then the next fat cell needs to get stored up and it will swell three times the size. And then the third one swelled up three times the size over and over again. As you're actually loading up on your calories, all right, with overeating, you're way overloading on the fat. The fat is building up. Oh man, you're kind of run out of fat. So what it does is it calls on your stem cells in your fat to make more fat cells. And when I went to medical school, I was always taught by my professors that you're born with all the fat you're ever going to have. That's not true. We now know with more modern research that in fact, fat can actually generate more of itself. All right. It, uh, when it needs to through these uh, stem cells. So energy into your body gets stored in fat. Fat can expand and then fat will shrink when you're actually burning down the energy. But what happens if you keep on overeating, keep on overeating way more than you're actually burning it down? Right. So think of this like a sink, right? Uh, sink in your bathroom or your sink in your kitchen. You've got the spigot on. That's uh, energy coming in. That's like fuel coming in. You got a drain uh, removing the fluid. That's actually burning away that energy. All right. So a couple of things that can happen. If there is a blockage in the sink, there's no outflow. Guess what? Then you can just have eat regular amounts of food put regular amounts of water into your sink and it'll build up, build up, build up, build up and overflow. This is what happens when you actually have liver failure and livers can fail when they're full of fat. When livers are full of fat, uh, they, they're not functioning properly uh, and uh, they're not able to, you're not able to burn down that fat uh, because there's so much fat in it. 
And so now when the more fat you eat, it just keeps on swelling and swelling and building up, building up. All right. Now, the other thing that you can actually do to overwhelm your sink is if you put on the spigot on full, all right, and the drain doesn't change and you walk away and now your water level goes up, 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 up. And so same thing in your body, fat and fuel goes up, 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 up. Eventually it's going to spill over. And this is what actually happens uh, with fat cells in your body when you're storing fuel. You're eating, overeating, overeating some more, still overeating. All right, now your fat cells swell. Eventually, there's spillage, just like the sink that uh, you put on wide open the spigot. Water flows out of the sink down to the floor. All right, water's got to go someplace. Guess what? When you overeat and you overwhelm the capacity of fat to store that fuel, what happens? The fat, the energy, spills out, out of the fat, into your bloodstream, and now you've actually overflowed the tank. Now, in your human body, that overflow gets caught by the liver. Remember I told you, the liver's job is to detoxify. So when you've got this spillage of fat, so think about like an oil tanker running aground and spilling all the oil in the ocean. Well, when that actually happens in your body, you've got fat spilling out, your liver basically jumps into action to detoxify the body. So it absorbs all that fat and it stores it all up. Okay, it's just another sink. It's another storage area for the, all this extra fat. Your body doesn't want to um, lose energy that is captured. So it'll actually store it in the liver. The liver gets filled with fat. My boy told you, when you overload the liver with fat, it stops functioning properly. And remember what I said about the function of the liver. It is a detoxifier in your body. When you've got too much fat that's overflowed your tanks of your fat tissue, and that fat overflows into your liver. Your liver accumulates it, and now it knocks out your liver function. Now the liver can't detoxify. That can cause all kinds of problems, right? Because now you're deto not detoxifying other things as well. And the liver also makes proteins. And so when your liver's not functioning well, it's also not gonna make the right kinds of proteins. What kind of proteins? Well, like the proteins you need to clot your blood. So when you have liver failure, guess what? Your liver is unable to make those substances that actually help your blood clot. So you become highly vulnerable to bleeding, hemorrhage, which can be, actually be fatal. All right. So there are real consequences to overloading your liver and having fatty liver accumulate. This is why we're talking about this. All right. Watermelon contains lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that Dr. Lee and other researchers have found to have potential benefits for cellular health. Lycopene can help combat oxidative stress, which is crucial because excessive oxidative stress can impair the function of stem cells and contribute to aging and disease. Here's Dr. Lee to tell us just how lycopene is helpful for burning fat. So you go to the produce section and there are foods that are like tomatoes that have lycopene that actually dissolve into your body fat within an hour or so after you eat the tomato. And that lycopene turns on your body fat. And what it does, it, it doesn't turn on the jiggly fat. It turns on the kind of fat called brown fat. And brown fat isn't jiggly. It's not lumpy bumpy. It's paper thin. And it's paper thin and it's pressed along your neck, under your breastplate, under your arms, a little bit behind your back, a little bit in your belly. And when the lycopene from tomatoes and other foods will actually get to your fat, it lights up the fat like the striker you have on a gas oven. You know, you click it, click, 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 whoosh. When that brown fat lights up, it's literally burning. It's thermogenic, meaning it's a space heater. It creates heat. In order to create heat to fire up, it has to draw energy, right? Just like a space heater does, you gotta plug it in. Or just like your gas range does, it draws down the gas from a gas tank. Now, in this case, your brown fat, when it fires up due to food, okay, which could be tomatoes, tangerines, lemons, watermelon, these are actually, science has shown, these are metabolizing, metabolism activating foods. They trigger your brown fat to start turning on its space heater function to burn down extra fuel. Dr. Lee will now tell us a little more about watermelon, including what it has in common with tomatoes and some history about watermelons, as well as other benefits of watermelon. A little history lesson is inspiration. Related to tomatoes are, is watermelon juice. Now you're like, wait a minute, Dr. Lee, watermelon, tomatoes, nothing alike. You are right, except both tomatoes and watermelons have lycopene. That's right, watermelon 
which has got red flesh. Remember I told you the lycopene helps to provide color. Watermelon has lycopene. It's got a lot of fluid in it, which is good, but it's also got lycopene in it. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but watermelons were not originally, they came from Africa, but they were not originally red. They, I think they were yellow and they weren't sweet. They were just used for water, for hydration and, you know, the hot environment. But over time, they got bred to be red and sweet. And that redness actually uh, brought with it uh, lycopene. Now, researchers have been looking at watermelon juice. And here's what they found. They found that homemade watermelon juice, that means you get fresh watermelon, you chunk it up, you put it into a blender, okay, and you puree it. Can make about three and a half cups of juice this way. There's these researchers did three and a half cups of juice. All right. That's a pretty sizable amount of juice. That's more than a tall glass. But that drinking that watermelon juice for three weeks could double the amount of lycopene, that fat fighting substance in your blood, because it's in your blood that where it goes to work. All right. So watermelon uh, juice actually is a good way to get more lycopene into your uh, body. Have some tomato juice for breakfast, have some watermelon juice for lunch or uh, for any afternoon. Or if you're going to go out, uh, if you're at the beach or if you're going for a hike, drink some watermelon juice uh, before you leave. And you know why? Because the uh, watermelon juice has powerful antioxidant properties. And if you're going to go out into the sun, if you have a glass of watermelon juice um, a couple of hours before you go out, it will actually protect you, your, your DNA, from the damage from the ultraviolet radiation that you go out on the, on the beach, right? So here's a simple thing. Just have some, you want to hydrate anyway. Hydrate with fresh watermelon juice. This is a good thing to prepare if you're going to go out to the beach and you want to pack something. Uh, again, if you're going to buy commercial store-bought watermelon juice, please look at the label. Most commercial watermelon juices have a lot of other things besides watermelon juice. All right. They got some watermelon juice, uh, some real watermelon juice, but they've got uh, uh, sometimes artificial coloring, sometimes added sugar, uh, sometimes preservatives, sometimes other juices. No, nope, you want to go for the pure one. So make it yourself if you want to. Let's pick up a watermelon. Next time you're at the grocery store, and keep it on your counter. And then when you're, at, you're actually ready to make the juice, it's sitting right there. All right. Um, by the way, the other thing about watermelons that and watermelon juice that's healthy, this is like an extra credit benefit for you is that watermelon flesh has something called citrulline that's c-i-t-r-u-l-l-i-n-e citrulline which your body uses to make a substance called nitric oxide nitric oxide is absolutely critical for your health and the more you actually have citrulline the more nitric oxide your body's going to have um, i'll tell you what nitric oxide does it actually causes your blood vessels to dilate, relax. Guess what that happens then? Your blood pressure goes down. And the other thing that nitric oxide does is it actually re helps to pave and manage, maintain your uh, blood vessels. So inside your blood vessels, your circulation, you've got 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels in your body. They all respond to nitric oxide. Um, the nitric oxide uh, will actually call up stem cells that will look around and look in your blood vessels and anywhere there's a pothole or damage, it'll let you replace it, all right? So it regenerates your blood vessels. Nitric oxide is a, is a regenerative substance. So watermelon juice containing citrulline can actually uh, uh, give you that benefit uh, as well. Watermelon is a delicious and hydrating fruit packed with stem cell healthy nutrients. Here are a few recipes featuring watermelon as the main ingredient. I like watermelon. Watermelon smoothie. Blend a cup of diced watermelon with a handful of spinach, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and a splash of coconut water. The lycopene in watermelon, along with the nutrients from spinach and chia seeds, can contribute to overall health and stem cell function. You guys sure like watermelon. Watermelon salad with feta and mint. Toss cubed watermelon with crumbled feta cheese, fresh mint leaves, and a drizzle of olive oil. The combination of antioxidants in watermelon, protein from feta, and refreshing mint can make for a nutritious and flavorful meal. Watermelon. Watermelon agua fresca. Create a refreshing beverage by blending watermelon chunks with water, lime juice, and a touch of honey or a gave nectar. 
This light and hydrating drink is a great way to incorporate watermelon into your daily routine. Avocados? Watermelon and avocado salsa. Combine diced watermelon, avocado, red onion, cilantro, and a squeeze of lime juice to create a flavorful salsa. Serve it with grilled chicken or fish for a healthy and satisfying meal. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the Nutritarian diet. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.